A Connecticut judge hearing arguments today on how much conspiracy theorist Alex Jones owes in punitive damages for persuading his millions of followers that the Sandy Hook school shooting was a hoax. That's on top of the nearly $1 billion award a jury already handed down in the case. News 12 Connecticut's Marissa Alter reports. We are on the record in the Lafferty versus Jones matter. It's now up to Judge Barbara Bellis to determine how much more money InfoWars host Alex Jones will owe 14 Sandy Hook victims, family members, and an FBI agent for continually pushing the lie the school shooting was a hoax perpetrated by crisis actors. Last month, the jury awarded them $965 million for the decade of abuse they suffered from Jones's followers. The jury also said punitive damages meant to punish for especially egregious behavior should also be awarded. In a court filing, the plaintiff's lawyer said punitive damages could reach $2.75 trillion. What you have, I think, based on the evidence that we presented at trial, is really a clear and obvious campaign by Mr. Jones to do things that he knew was causing these plaintiffs to suffer in the way that they were suffering. And he did it knowing that they had just lost their loved ones. Attorney Chris Maddy argued even while the trial was going on, Jones was undeterred, calling the event, quote, synthetic as hell. And why does he do that? Because he thinks it's more profitable for him to do that than to give it up. But attorney Norm Pat has countered the jury award against Jones was so high it should be punishment enough. These numbers are simply unparalleled in Connecticut history, perhaps in the history of any case in the United States. My view is a billion, if a billion doesn't do it, uh, a trillion isn't going to do it, three trillion isn't going to do it. Um, and there, there, this, is, this case is really not about what it's going to take to deter Mr. Jones for his reprehensible behavior as found by this jury. Bellis asked for cases and law that supported Pattis' argument. I know what you're saying, what you want me to do, and I'm just trying to figure out what allows me to do it. The lack of evidence in this case allows you to do it. Pattis was referring to the fact this jury didn't have to determine if Jones was liable for defamation and infliction of emotional distress. Bellis issued a default judgment last year. Marissa Alter, News 12, Connecticut. Oh, the judge will also consider whether to order Jones to pay $320 million for the family's attorney fees. That's one-third of the compensatory damages.